Hey guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center playing some Ark. So, uh, I want to do a little bit of taming today. I'm not a hundred percent sure what. I want to go do a little bit of a, a look around for some uh, good Giga or maybe a good Quetzal. Uh, how's the meat doing in here that I'm cooking up? Oh, pretty good. All right. Um, we need to make some more jerky. That's why. And we've got so many kibbles, but aside from getting a Quetzal or a Giga, I think I want to go ahead and get a Diplo. Um, I do not yet have a Diplo. Uh, or maybe a, let's see, how much Inky kibble do we have? Maybe some Carnos. Uh, I'm not really sure, but prior to doing that, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and build up some new armor. So our armor is cool. We like it, but there's no reason that we shouldn't be wearing riot gear at this point. So I don't think we're going to make up some riot gear. Uh, I'm going to go and get the materials together and then we'll do that. All right, we should have everything we need to make the riot gear. I just went ahead and threw it in here. Uh, I wish we had blueprints for better stuff, but we do not. But this will be a good start, and we'll go ahead and after it's all crafted, um, I'm going to get equipped, painted up. Probably going to keep using the Dodo Rex mask for our head skin, but I'm going to look at the other, see if there's something else I'm preferring for a little while. And uh, once I get it all painted up, I'll bring you all back. All right, guys, so check out the armor. We're all dyed up and good to go. I almost went with the clown mask skin because it looks terrifying. Look at that, I dyed it up. I almost went with this, but I decided against it just because I don't think I can handle it. That's, that's just too much for me. So I'm using the regular Dodo one we usually use. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one back in here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fly around and see what I can find as far as Quetzals, Gigas, something like that. And uh, then after I do, I will uh, bring y'all back and see exactly what we're gonna do today. Which, to be honest, you probably already know because it's probably in the title of the video. All right, guys, so while I was out, I uh, was out on my Terra and I found a pretty dang good Quetzal. Uh, that's Rex Kibble, 33, that should be more than enough. Let's go ahead and grab some narcotics. And then I gotta fly my cage guy out there and hopefully I can find it again. Uh, <laughs> I hope so, because it was fantastic. Uh, where's the narcotics? So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready. And I'm gonna go see if I can locate this sucker. And then I will bring y'all back. All right, guys, we have spotted it. Let's take a look. It is a male Quetzal level 340. Eight. So that's one level shy of being perfect, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and slide under this guy. Did we get him? I think, ooh, we got him first try. That was awesome. If you uh, have not seen how this Quetzal cage works, I have a whole video on it, so you can go ahead and look that up. Let's go ahead and just knock this sucker out. Now this is not gonna be a uh, quick tame. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but um, when it is all done, we will have ourselves a super fantastic, amazing Quetzal. And hopefully we'll be able to find a high level female soon as well. So that way we can uh, breed them and get something even better. Just like we've been doing with the Terras. All right. How many shots is it going to take for this sucker to go down? Oh, that many. Apparently. What was that? Like five? Not even that many. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait. Is it like all black or is it just nighttime? It's very hard to tell. Oh. Whoa. Sliding around a little much there. Please don't do that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sit with this thing, throw the kibble on it and the narcotics and just let it do its thing. And I'll bring you guys back when it is mostly done. All right, guys, so we are back at base with our new Quetzal and I know, I know we missed him actually taming up. We missed the actual moment of the tame, but uh, that's because my dad showed up and you know, so, whatever, I missed it. <laughs> my dad showed up at my house. Anyways, we're back now, and we have a back. Came out as a little 520, and let's look at the stats. Health, 17,280. Stamina, 6225. Oxygen, 1095. Food, uh, 11,168. Weight, 2121, and melee, 518. Um, I assume that compares significantly. Did I boot? Oh, I imprinted this guy a little bit. I forgot about that. So I don't know how the stats compare. I'm sure they're all 
I mean, obviously they're going to be way better. Uh, we're probably just going to boost movement speed. Because really what we need is a fast Quetzal, and this guy's going to be our main breeder dude when the time comes for that. I did go ahead and move this bone skeleton costume over to him, obviously, because it's amazing. So I was trying to think about what else I wanted to do today. And uh, I was gonna go do another like leveling montage kind of deal, but I'm like, we've been doing a lot of those recently and I do love doing them, but uh, I'm kind of bored of them right now. So there's some, just some stuff I need to get done. I need to build, uh, I don't even, we, don't, we haven't even built a chemistry table yet for some stupid reason. We uh, are, have been hatching this quet, uh, Quetzal, uh, da, 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 Giga Egg. That's almost done and we're gonna need to hatch that. Also, I've been trying to make the perfect Pteranodon, and we're really close. So check it out. It's oh, so many dinos in here now. It's insane. Oh, climb. There we go. So check it out. I have two breeding pairs trying to get this 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 uh, perfect one. We've got a male here with five out of my six best stats, and this female who has the one stat that's missing. And then over here, I have got a uh, male and female pair that together make all the stats. And these are all my Tranodons I no longer need, and this is not including the ones that I have given away or that I have just let die. Um, it's ridiculous. And now, I believe this one here with the weight stat is not yet ready to mate. Nope, but this back pair is, so I'm gonna go ahead and mate them up. Let's do one of these. And enable wandering. And one of these. And enable wandering. I'm, so, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys made it up and uh, start getting some hatching going. All right, we've got our egg and we can go ahead and lay it down next to this Giga egg. Uh, is there anything else I want to breed right now? I don't think so. Let's take a look around. Um, I am like semi want to breed Rexes, but I feel like we need a way better female Rex first because are we missing a Rex? No, because like it seems like all the stats are only on the male Rexes, all my best stats. Yeah, this is a male, right? You male? It says male in your name, so I'm going to say yes. And so it's not... I don't know. We need, a, we need a really good female before we really do some breeding. And I've been trying to keep an eye out, but uh, it's been, uh, been slim pickings. But besides that, I don't think there's anything we really want to breed right now. So we're going to go ahead and let these suckers hatch. And um, I think maybe I'll go build a chemistry table while I wait. Okay, to make the chemistry bench we need, metal ingots, which we have tons of. Uh, cementing paste, spark powder. Let's grab those. Uh, da, 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 da. Cementing paste. Metal. Uh, what was the other one? Spark powder. Which should be in here. Okay, let's drop those things off. One, two, three. And then we need, we already have the crystal and polymer in here. Ooh, we're almost out of polymer. So now we just need electronics, which I don't know if we have any of. Uh, what do we need to make those? Is that pearls and metal? Okay, let's see what we have first, and um, then we'll start getting those things to craft in. Uh, 24? Ugh, okay, we're gonna need some more metal, I think. Let's go ahead and grab a, oh, uh, a little less than that. Okay, another thousand. Let's let those, let these uh, electronics start crafting up. Let's do, it's 195. How many do we need? 250? Oh no. We might need to go get more stuff. I was hoping we had everything we needed already. Uh, we've got a few. What are we gonna be short on? Pearls? Pearls are so easy and I'll show you why uh, after these eggs hatch. All right, we've got a couple moments, a uh, couple minutes left on the, ah, there it is. I was gonna say a couple minutes left on the Giga Egg, but this one is just about to hatch and it did. And I'm gonna guess these stats are absolute garbage. So let's see, it's got the health, good. No, 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 and the melee, and the weight in the melee. Health, weight, melee. And you are a female and there's two of them. Are you a male? Ooh, I do, I do need more with the, with the weight stat. So I guess we'll keep them, even though they're garbage. Cause I just need some more females with a weight stack. Cause that's the one thing giving me a huge problem when it comes to breeding it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and disable wandering on these guys and then wait for the, 
uh, the whatchamacallit, the Giga Egg hatch up. <laughs> All right, this sucker is gonna hatch any minute. And hopefully, hopefully we get the weight stat off the other one. That's the only stat we need from it. Otherwise it's completely useless to us. I mean, a Giga is not really ever completely useless, but we don't need a bunch of things that we don't really need. So we want that weight stat so we can then can you breed? And we prefer it on a female, on a female, right? On a, uh, a female, uh, Giganotosaurus. All right. Oh, there it is. 356. I don't know if that's good or not because I don't know what this guy started as. Let's go with this. And we get the weight stat. Oh, looks like we got the weight stat. Okay. That's super exciting. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy lined up. I'm going to get him named and then we're going to go get some pearls. All right, this sucker is named and it got our health, food, and weight stat, which is not too bad, not too shabby at all. Uh, let's make sure he's got some more food on him. Now let's go get some pearls. Let me show you how we do the pearls deal. So we got our best snake out, who I've leveled up completely, level uh, 595 now. We're gonna hop on our fresh, brand new Quetzal, boost a little bit of speed, and we're gonna take him and we're gonna fly to a very close area, which I've discovered has a ton of pearls. I also discovered that snakes gather pearls very well. And it's just gonna be right here at the bottom of this waterfall. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and land right here and check this out. So snakes move uh, pretty quick in the water and also they don't have an oxygen stat. And I know it's just a mod, so it's not really like super fair. And there are a ton of pearls in here. Oh yeah, see, now they're starting to show up. And uh, I think it's the C move on these tameable titanoboas that gather. No, right click, right click. Look at that, 77, 158. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get all the pearls. And uh, then I will uh, take this guy back home with all our pearls and bring y'all back. Okay, so we are back at base with, ah, uh, oh, we're stuck with uh, all of our new pearls. We got 1500 of them. And we need, uh, what is that, like the 31 more electronics or something? And eh, we'll do that many. Uh, and once those things craft up, we should have everything we need to finally make the chemistry bench, will be, which will be great. I'm gonna try to stick it right here. If not, I'm gonna have to move these mortar and pestles. I'd like to have a few mortar and pestles around as well. Not for any real reason. Same reason I just like to have some extra forges over here with my industrial forge. Um, kind of just kind of, I like to have everything available. See? But you know, nah, eh, is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that this uh, stuff craft up and bring y'all back. All right, now let's uh, da, 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 make that chem bench. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, I don't remember how big they are. They're not super big, but they're not like super small either. Okay. Oh yeah, that'll fit there just fine. Heck yeah. Okay, let's do our best to try to line it up. It's gonna be kind of tough. Oh no, we're good, this is not too bad. Okay, turn it a little bit this way, a little bit this way. Like that, but let's pull it out so it's, more like that I think would look good. Yes, and it's powered and we are good to go. All right guys, for today I do think that is gonna be it. We got quite a bit of good stuff done today. We uh, got ourselves a new baby Giga, we got ourselves uh, some new breeders and pteranodons. We got some more pearls. We made the chemistry bench. And uh, most importantly of all, we got a really, really good level Quetzal, which is the best. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me today. Uh, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, whoa, the framiness got real. Um, anyways, if you did enjoy it, uh, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on your social medias. And uh, I also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash ObadiahX. But anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.